kind of like a woven material. We're going to Trader Joe's. We ran into Target and got an air fryer and an Instant Pot as well. Okay, so just turn it on. I just get like so nervous. extra bathroom and talk to you guys okay at least you can kind of see me it's starting to get a little bit dark outside but as you can tell I self tan so I look a lot tanner I haven't tanned my face yet I use self tan drops um what's the brand by Isle of Paradise and I use that right before bed after I rinse this off, so I leave this on for three hours and it's the Saint Tropez Express Tan, I think. You could leave it on for one hour for light, two hours for medium, three hours for dark. But yeah, so I did that, made a glass of wine, and I'm waiting on Christian to get back from the gym so that we can cook steaks, twice baked potato, and asparagus for dinner. We got our bedside tables, lamps, and our couch just came in yesterday which was Thursday today's Friday um, I had work today but I'm gonna show you the couch and the bedside tables and the lamps okay so <laughs> ignore that blanket let me remove that blanket really quick <laughs> so here is the couch um, it's like a light gray color it's um I don't know what type of material this is. It's kind of like a woven material. I originally wanted a white couch, but we just couldn't find something for a reasonable price. Couches are super expensive, and I really wanted a sectional, and this is just the perfect size. I think it's perfect. I think it complements the space really nicely, but we got it from American Signature Furniture. If you are interested, I can link it in like the next video if no one's interested. I mean, no one's obviously always looking for a couch, so. So here's our room. The pillows, I'm not done with it. This is just what it looks like for now because I like, I'm unsure what I want to do with the pillow situation. But um, we originally had those pillows on the bed, but we moved them to the couch because the couch just looks so plain with them. And I kind of do like the contrast of colors I think eventually I'm going to want to move two of those pillows to the couch behind those dark gray pillows. Sorry, I'm moving back and forth. And then get three really large pillows and then keep two of the smaller pillows and put it in front. But I'm not sure I have to find pillows. But anyways, back to everything. I got these bedside tables. They're marble and then they have like a chrome detail on the legs which I think brings out the detail on the bed we got them from overstock they're just end tables so they're not specifically meant for bedside but they fit the space because it is being taken up by the bed so I got these and then we got these from Ikea and which also has the chrome detail which matches which is the legs of this and we got them for a really good deal we got them for twenty dollars I think they were more expensive I want to say they were double that at Ikea but so we got those at Ikea and then same on my side is the same table so yeah those are the updates so far but I'm really excited about the couch let's see if it, it pulls purple. I was trying to video it last night and it just pulls a purple color, but it's gray. I think I need to show you it in the daylight, but it's, it's gray. <laughs> it's like a light gray color. But the theme that you can obviously tell I'm going for is like black, white, gray, neutrals, kind of um, modern, elegant looking. So yeah, that's the little furniture update. I'm excited. Okay. 
I didn't vlog, but this is the finished thing. The Devil Wears Prada is on, aka the best movie ever. So you'll find me here, <laughs> curled up on the couch. from regular bacon to that, I'll tell you that. We'll never be back again. <laughs> I am super excited. I gotta find my keys. Um, we're going to Trader Joe's. Um, if you have any essentials, I mean this video will be posted after we go, but if you have any Trader Joe's essentials, I've only been two times, leave them down below, because I wanna know. I'm it's probably too hot to wear sweatpants. Right, 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 right. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's not as good. We just got back from Trader Joe's and we ran into Target and got an air fryer and an instant pot as well. But I wanted to show you what we got. I looked up um, Trader Joe's essentials online and some of these were a part of it. So we got two sweet potato gnocchi, gnocchi, how do you say that? Um, and then cauliflower. We got mac and cheese bites. We got these mini cheesecake cones, raspberry and vanilla cream bars. We got this type of cheese, Toscano, and this blueberry cheese. We also got, we wanted to get the buffalo chicken dip, but they didn't have any, so the guy told us that this has the buffalo chicken dip inside of it. So we got that. We got these chili lime chicken burgers, which were on the list. We got more sweet potato fries, and we're gonna cook these ones in the air fryer. The mandarin chicken, we got these chips, we got the blue corn tortilla chips, we got pita crackers for the cheese, we got this spicy smoky peach salsa, and we got this like, dried mango slices, which we started eating in the car, and they're so good. And then we got to everything but the bagel seasoning. I think that's it. Yeah, so we're gonna put this away. You know how we got these two cheeses at this blueberry cheese? Blueberry vanilla goat cheese. goat cheese. And this one, it's like a wine cheese. It's soaked in Syrah. And um, they're both so good. The blueberry cheese is amazing. And this is, I've had the Merlot cheese. Not this brand. But it's another brand, and it's um, soaked in Merlot, and it's so good. And with these crackers, these pita bite crackers, so good. I just finished filming a video. It will probably already be up on my channel. It's with Nova Shine uh, Teeth Whitening. Check that video out. I will link it up here, and I will also link it down below. It's really exciting. 
I kind of have to get used to filming videos with Christian in the other room. I just get like so nervous, especially sit down videos. They're just different than vlogging because vlogging is more casual and I can kind of say whatever I want. But with a sit down video, I kind of have to be more serious and have really collected thoughts. And sometimes I have to refilm parts <laughs> when I mess up. So I don't want him listening to me say, Hi, my name is Lauren. Welcome back to my YouTube channel 15 times because I didn't get it right the first 14. You know what I mean? So it's just, it's just wait, I have to get it down. I have to get used to it. So, but yeah, we're going to make, we're going to use our new air fryer to make dinner tonight. We're making a crusted, panko crusted chicken and then we're going to put the sweet potato, I, can't, I always say this wrong, gnocchi, I think that's how you say it in the air fryer and then we're just gonna cook like some mixed veggies i've been right here editing my video for the past hour and i'm about to oh my god this is a mess i'm about to start um making the crusted uh chicken we don't have any flour so I'm just using egg and the panko breadcrumbs and i just added salt pepper paprika and garlic powder in there. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna bread my little chicken tenderloins or whatever. And then we're going to air fry some stuff and make some veggies. put in the um, air fryer so I'm waiting for it to heat up but I'm gonna coat this with avocado oil so oh hi everyone it's the next day I realized that I forgot to end off my video from last night so I'm gonna end it off here and start a new one so I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you at my next video bye